Hello everybody, I've never done an unboxing video before on my channel, well actually I think I did a few years back, but anyway, um, I bought this Hoover Pure Power because I think they're going to discontinue the Pure Powers very soon, because the run of them now has been that long, they came out in 1997, so what's that, 2017, 20 years, 18, 19, so they've been going for 22 years now these machines. Um, and the EU regulations for vacuum cleaners are constantly changing, so it makes the rules more and more stringent, and it phases out more and more cleaners, and somehow this pure power has survived every single one of the EU regs, and is still sold and made this today, this today, today. Um, it's the only budget bagged upright vacuum cleaner that I can think of that's still going. Argos did one under their Pro Action brand until about seven years ago. Well, actually, that's a long time when I put it that way, isn't it? I think it was about, well, it might have been about seven years. Argos did one. Um, Panasonic were great, but they no longer manufacture. Well, they don't manufacture them in the UK. They no longer sell vacuum cleaners in the UK, Panasonic, and they were great. They done great bagged up right. So I've got one of them. They're brilliant. Um... That, well, saying that, Panasonic are shutting down vacuum cleaners altogether. They're going to stop making them altogether and they won't sell them anywhere, which is a shame. I don't know why. Um, Yeah, and Electrolux as well, they they went. Electrolux are one of the last companies to offer a bagged up. Right, they offered two. They offered a pets version and just a normal version. They offered two bagged up rights and they were both very good machines, although I never had them. Um. But obviously, they didn't stop making them. Electrolux stopped making vacuum cleaners for the UK. So, um, the the um, Electrolux bagged up rights went with it. Although, after Electrolux went, the bagged up right continued to be sold for a very short time under the brand Zanussi. And then that stopped. And that was a good machine. I would like to see some company invent another bagged up right for the budget market but i don't think they will and i'll be gutted when the pure power goes because despite the the dodgy foot pedal that everyone complains about and how they've cheapened them over the years which they have i still believe it's a good vacuum cleaner and i would recommend a pure power there's other demonstrations on youtube where they show carpet pickup and that and they're very good machines the very good machines if anyone once a vacuum under £100, I recommend the Hoover Pure Power. I honestly do. And because they're going to be discontinued, I've got quite a few poor, <laughs> poor powers, huh? pure powers, but I wanted this one because this is the current model and I've got a feeling that it'll be the last pure power they ever make. They've got the Enigma, of course, the Hoover Enigma, which is just a pure power splattered in loads of paint. I've got a... Enigma. Well, I think I've got a video of it I, um, when I got it on my channel of all the muck that was in it. But um, the thing with that is it's the black and silver paint is sprayed on and it scratches up awfully. Any scratch, the lighter scratch shows up awfully. So I wanted one of these because A, it's the colour of the plastic, it's not paint. So if this was scratched you wouldn't notice it as much. And B, because I think we'll stop making it. So I've got one to open up and maybe I'll review. As I will be using this machine. If I was a millionaire, which I'm not. I always say though, if I, were, oh, if I was a millionaire. I'd buy two of these. And I'd have one to not use and keep pristine. New in box. Um, well, actually, I'd buy three if I had enough money. I'd buy one to keep for years, new in box. And then I'd sell it on eBay in 20 or 30 years, where it'll go for something ridiculous like £500. And then the second one, I'd keep just for me, brand new in the box, and I'd use the third one. But I'm not a millionaire, so I've only bought one, and it's going to be this one that I use. So, let's have a look at the box. I don't know how long this video will be, so if the camera cuts out, I'll have to upload this as part one and then continue. The energy rating is, um, it gets a B for dust emissions, a B for carpet pickup, I think it deserves an A, if I'm totally honest with you. 
an A for hard floor pickup, and it's 89 decibels. And I read somewhere that vacuum cleaners sold in the UK after a certain date have to be 80 decibels or below. So I don't know whether it'll change the motor in this machine or it'll stop it altogether. We'll just have to see. A class energy efficiency performance is so the saying it's equivalent to compared with model it's equivalent to a 2300 watt machine but it only uses 50% of the energy of once oh I don't know how true that is and I don't really care to be honest obviously vacuum cleaners have had the wattages lowered I've just realized I've left me a dress on the top of this box so I'll have to use a screwdriver and rip it off. I hope you didn't see it then. You won't have done, will you? That comes out. We'll put that in the bin and I'll bin it and then find out the machine doesn't work and won't be able to send it back and it'll... There we go, I'll just have to... Yeah, I don't know how I missed that. A big documents and clothes sign on the front of it. Oh, wonderful. There we go. Oh, it's the same all round. Long stretch hose for above floor cleaning. And there's some lovely woman there cleaning a door frame. In my busy life, I don't really have time to clean my door frames. I don't know how many of you watching clean your door. Well, actually, probably quite a few of you because you're probably really interested in vacuums, aren't you? Which is why you're watching this. You probably do a good job. Full 13 stairs cleaning. That doesn't really make sense, but I think we all know what it means. What's this here? Pure power, 750 watts, PU71-PU01001. Colour inside this pack, pure white and Venus metallic. Ooh. Right. Um, here's my toolbox. Mm. So, what we will do, we will cut the top of the thingy somehow. Here we go. Or is that the right way? What's the sharp end of these scissors? There we go. Sorry. I'm not very good at one-handedness, am I? Right, there we go. Is that? I've just cut the sides here. There we go. Other side. I mean, I should, when I get vacuum cleaners brand new, I should do unboxing videos, really. But I don't know, you know, because I don't edit my videos and that. I don't know how interesting they are to watch because... You never get any good angles, you just get me holding my phone in my hand. Anyway, please call us, what's this, Hoover Five Star Service Helpline. So basically, before you even open the box, they're offering help if it breaks down, which can't blame Hoover today for doing that, because the machines aren't very reliable. This is probably, Hoover have gone so much downhill, this is, you know, this is as good as Hoover are, I think. This is the best machine they sell. I'm saying that I've not had every machine, so let's take that off. What have we got in here? Dusting tool. Not I thought they'd be in like a clear little plastic bag or something, but they're not, they're just in the in the polystyrene. Brussels are quite bristles, that nah, Brussels, bristles. Bristles are quite hard on that. I wouldn't go dusting your telly with that. Um, and I've seen lots of people on YouTube when they're demonstrating vacuums. Blooming hell, can't get that out. Oh, there we go. That's your upholstery tool for upholstery, which I've got none of in here. Um, just in my bedroom today. Um, I've seen lots of people use that when they demonstrate on stairs. They use this upholstery slash all-purpose tool to do the stairs with. Um... I don't, I use the crevice tool. So I don't, I thought everyone did though, I don't know why um, people use the upholstery tool. I don't think it does near as a good job as the crevice tool because with that you get a good scrubbing with that, it just brushes on the surface. Um, so what was the colour again? This must be the Venus red metallic carry, carry handle, handle here. As well, I thought I'll record this. Because in years to come, when I'm old and sad and reminiscing, I can think of this that I used to unbox. So I'll record it. Um, another Let Us Help sticker. I might peel that off because it doesn't seem to be 
very sticky. And there'll probably be a screw behind there, which there is. There's the carry handle. I'll just... Well, I don't know why I'm saying that. It's the cleaning handle, that. There we go. That's a bit wobbly. The earlier machines, that used to be, like, stiff. Or more stiffer than it is now. And it's quite wobbly. Hmm. Anyway, I'm sure it's not a false, and it's just the general cheapness of this machine. Two nesting extension ones slash crevice tool. They go in there. Oh, they go some way like that. There we go. That's how I do my stairs, like that. Um, is that, oh my God. Oh, it's not marked it. <laughs> I thought that had scratched it already. I was going to say, well, that is poor, just feathers off the bed. So I just pull them apart and then they go it that does that like that and then that goes in there and that goes like that and then that's how they store away but the pure power's actually got two two holders for the extension tubes so you don't need to nest them here's the hose which is stuck I don't think it's attached to the machine. Last time I opened a pure power, which was a long time ago, I have to say, but I don't remember the hose. I think the hose was in separately, so I'd be very surprised if it isn't today. Um, yeah, that's the carry handle. You pick it up like that, and obviously that's on the back of the machine, that part. Um, oh, I forgot what I was going to... Oh, yeah, it reminds me, the colour scheme reminds me of the Hoover, the one cleaner. It has that colour scheme, white and red. The colours look exactly the same as the Hoover, the one, which was an awful machine that kept cutting out, and the only way to stop it cutting out was to remove the thermal cutout. What the hell is that? Bit of um, bubble wrap. I think a red cord would look nice on this, but... Attention to detail like that went out the window with Hoover a long time ago. What have we got here? Paperwork, EU Energy label. Do you know what? The instructions look exactly the same as they did years ago. Although they stopped putting bag check indicators on the Pure Power, on the demonstration picture, they never forget to put it on there, do they? Or in the instructions. Hmm. Bit of false advertising, I think I should they should have that off. Anyway, it was years ago, before Hoover was cheap and when Hoover was still making vacuum cleaners in Britain, Pure Powers had a bag check indicator, a little light to come on and tell you when the bag was full. You wouldn't get that now on one of these. Right, I didn't really think this through because I'm doing it one-handed so you can all watch me. But I'll pull that out. I don't really want to put you down because this is the literal unboxing part. I have to be very inventive here. Oh, It's nearly out. If I can pick it up there. I always think that reminds me of a face. There's the eye. Two eyes. One little there where the bag check should be. And the switch. And there's the mouth. How sad am I? Right, okay. Come on. Like I said, I don't edit my videos, so... Right, I'll have to stop recording because... No, I won't stop recording. I don't know why I said that. I'll have to put you down. Because I ain't getting this out, am I? Or am I? I'm nearly there. I've been thinking about using a tripod as well, you know, but I always think if I want to change the shot, I can't really do it, can I? So I don't. Get off. Not many people unbox them like this, do they? I think that's... 
that was very dramatic for what it was, but I got it out in the end. There we go. I don't think there's anything else in there. There's not. But we'll um we'll keep that box anyway, I'll shove that in the loft. Because I tend to keep boxes for I don't know, I'm just a hoarder, I keep loads of shite. Um here's the hose. I think it's a lovely colour scheme, this machine, I do have to say. Obviously I'll show you all that when I put it on now. Let's put all the rubbish. So you do have to assemble this machine, so you know it's not for someone that wants to get it out the box and use it straight away. But then again, like I said, for a budget bagged upright, there's not much choice these days. Um, let's just shove that in there. Just get rid of all this. Because like I said, I'm in my little box room, so there's not much room. I did say though, well actually I didn't say, but I'm going to say, I bought these for it. And I won't use them because it will probably come with a bag in it, which knowing Hoover will be the cheapest of the cheap. Single layer paper bag. And I'd be surprised if I get a spare. But yeah. I bought them. I bought two packs. They're the cloth fleece bags. And they're better at maintaining the suction. Than the paper ones. Years ago. I remember. I don't know when it was. It was a long time ago. I bought a Pure Power. They'd stopped making them in Britain. When I bought it. I think it was one of the first Chinese ones. Anyway, it came with five spare bags. No, it came with one fitted and four spare. Now, you're flipping lucky if you get one in it. So. Well, that's interesting. Oh, no, it's not. They're all like that, aren't they? I thought that was different. Right, okay. There we go. See, that's the, <laughs> there's the rubbish, the rubbish um, handle release mechanism. That should be stiff. That shouldn't move or wobble like that, like it is doing. That's because of that bad mechanism. Hmm, doesn't seem as bad as I remember on this one. Although it's still temperamental. Anyway, it's a lovely... Oh, it's metallic. It's sparkly. I didn't realise it was, actually. It says it's metallic Venus red, doesn't it? I'm your Venus. I'm your fire. I'm your desire. Who sings that? I can't remember now. Anyway, that's wrapped in there. How am I going to get that out? It's this one-handed lark again, isn't it? Do you know what? Depending on how many people watch this video and comment on it if it's a lot great if it's not i won't bother doing another unboxing Ooh. there we go that's off i'd be a lot more delicate with this machine if i was doing it off camera i'm just rushing so i can fit it all into one video and so um i can do it one-handed i think that's a suction relief thing there right so there's the cord wrapped up let's have a look underneath and see what the brush rolls like because i bet it's gonna be an activator beats as it sweeps as it's clean brush roll because what else would it have <gasps> no it doesn't it's just got the normal cheap one what else what's that piece of plastic that's poor quality that look at that that's already coming off that that litter picker they've got litter pickers at the side no don't they'll come off look at that Ooh, that shouldn't be coming off. I'll chop that down later off camera. And what they've got to help it pick up on hard floors is they've got two squeegees here. Um, That's supposed to concentrate the suction. But I found on my Enigma, all it done was stop. It just made it snow plow everything. And it was really hard to push. So honest to God, I will do it with this one. I won't do it on camera though. The earlier Pure Powers didn't have them. The best thing you can do with these squeegees is to get a pair of pliers and pull them off, which is what I will do off camera. Because I don't... I can't do it now with me. Oh, sorry about that. With my fingers, but they are the worst idea ever. It makes it hard. It probably will be hard to push. Let's, Let's see if it... Oh no, it's, oh, that's because it's on tool mode. If I move that down to...
yeah, it, it is. It's it's pathetic that them squeegees will be coming right off. So, let's see what we've got in here. Oh my God. Ha! I wasn't expecting that. It's got a fleece bag. And I was just saying before how cheap Hoover have gone. Well, do you know what? It's a jet. Well, it would be a genuine one. Hoover aren't going to use a pattern part in their own machine, are they? I am very surprised. So these are H74 bags, are they? I used to know them all off by heart, the bag codes, but there's that many bags now, I forgot. Um, yeah, so what have we got here? We've got a an um chicken. <laughs> that must be how we say fold in some language. Right. So, oh, well, I was going to give them credit then, but the bag's incorrectly fitted. They could have given us a spare, couldn't they, but they've not. Is this going to self-seal? Because the original machines used to have a self-sealing dust bag when it was removed. Is it going to seal? It has done. And it's also ripped during the process. Go, Hoover! Right. Um, there's the bag, genuine Hoover. That's why it's got the Hoover roundel. Do you know what people say? Always buy genuine bags. And do you know what? I think they're chatting a load of rubbish. Because I use pattern bags in all my machines and I've never, as long as you maintain the machine, I've never had anything go wrong ever. If you want to use genuine bags, go ahead. But to be honest, for machines like this, I think genuine bags are a waste of money. Like I said, I love the colour scheme. It's got a HEPA filter, has it? Mm. Right, and what I'll show you on the back... This is one of the last machines I... Well, it's the only machine I know. Sally, that's a lie, actually. The Hoover... The Hoover Sebo. The Sebo... No, the Sebo doesn't have an air freshener, does it? No. This is the only machine I know of... Well, a modern machine that they still make today to have an air freshener holder still. And that's partly because it's an old design, the Pure Power. Anyway, under here... That mould there, Ooh. they used to do like a little plastic holder for the air freshener. They don't even make the air fresheners now, but at least it's still got a holder. What I do is I put a vacuum disc freshener in there, and they're great. It's the only machine I know to still have a holder for an air freshener, so that is a bonus. That is a HEPA filter. I mean, when I buy new filters, if I ever buy new filters, it won't... Because, like I said, I am going to use this. I won't be getting it a helper filter. It'll just have a normal, cheap filter. Two for two pound from eBay. Like I said before, I've not got the money to be spending on genuine parts. I'm not that rich. Not very good, but it is what it is, isn't it? So, to attach... Things let's right, let's get it assembled. I'm 23 minutes in, you're probably all bored, aren't you? Right, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put the carry handle on. This is going to be really interesting doing this with one hand. Um, so there's two screws that are stored in the back of there. I've not looked at the instructions, I only know this because I've unboxed loads of Hoover Pure Powers in the well, not loads, quite a few Hoover Pure Powers in the past. So a source of no what I'm looking for and where things should be. So what we're going to do is remove that screw from there and then remove this other screw from there. Put said screws there. See what I mean as well? It's not painted on. It's a good, it's a good finish. Fun fact for those that don't know, because I bet there are a few collectors watching this. Um, I did comment this on one of Becco 1987's videos. This roundel here that says the Hoover cleaner, you may think that's a nice touch. As if Hoover are going to spend extra money adding that in. The reason that's there is because originally there was going to be a piston bag check indicator fitted on the bag doors of the Pure Power. But in the early days when they were all, they had the auto sense feature and that, it looked a bit old fashioned to have a piston bag check indicator on a fully electronic machine. So they blanked that off by putting the Hoover cleaner there. And instead they fitted a bag like there, which has now been blanked off as well. So there's just two blanking pieces, but it is what it is. Also what I wondered, the Enigma, which is the same machine, just black and silver, 
is triple A rated or quadruple A. It gets an A score for everything. So how come this doesn't? They're both the same machines. I don't. I don't. Mm, it doesn't add up, does it really? What was I doing? Oh crap! I was adding this on. So there's four screws that hold the bag fill tube on. There's only two in at the moment because the other two there go in the top there, which also in turn holds this on. If you don't get that, you'll see what I mean in a minute. See how that's moving slightly. So what we will do, that goes like that. That fits on like that. Well, it will stay in place. <laughs> that goes like that. Am I going to be, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this with one hand. So what you do is you hold that to there and that lines up in there and then we screw it on and I can't do it. So what I will do, actually, if I put my phone like that, can you see anything? I don't know if you can. Um, I'll just put this on quickly and then I'll... I'll pick it back up again once it's on, or at least when I've put one of the screws on. So I know what I'm doing. Well, I know what I'm doing, but, well, you get me, don't you? I'm just waffling. I like talking. Right, so. That goes there. And that screw goes there. And that gets screwed on there. And I don't want to over tighten that because that feels like it might just go through the plastic. Anyway, there's one on. So I don't know if you saw that. I tried to position the phone as best as I could. I'll put the other in there and I'll let you watch me do the other. You just tighten them in like that and this is going to fall. So what I'll do, I'll lean it up there like that. Because then when it does tip back, at least it will fall on the door. You can see that moving, which is tightening it. So. There we go. That's now fitted. That's not as secure as I thought. Let's tighten them a bit more. I don't want to over tighten them because the plastic feels so cheap. Saying that though, the quality is better than other Pure Powers I've unboxed. I don't know how that will be because it they'll just be getting cheaper and cheaper so I don't know how the quality can feel better maybe it's just because I've not unboxed a brand new one in a long time that's a bit better actually so there we go so next what we'll do we'll put the handle on so we will get this and I will rip this off because I've decided I don't want it I'll probably kill myself well that's a bit harsh kick myself for doing that in um a few years time when these machines, become, well, a long time ago, when things become vintage and I'll think, oh, there used to be a sticker there and I'll have ripped it off. Anyway, what's this here? Another little sticker. Can we get that one off? I can't get that off. Yeah, I'm doing a video, so. Can you just come down and watch the dogs? I'm doing a video. Oh, no, can you just stop doing the... No, I can't. You, t you mean you're in the middle of what? Yeah. Oh, so sorry, yeah, then you're interrupting it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm not. Can you edit it out? No. I'll just carry on, because I don't care anymore. Uh, how long are you going to be? Not long, ten minutes now. See, um, I used to try and be professional in my videos, but... I've stopped now. I've not, you know, he used to say to me, Mum and Dad, oh, don't come in, I'm doing a video. And life goes on, doesn't it? So if they interrupt, they interrupt. I don't really care. It's that. That should go on like that. I don't know. Oh, it's because the screw's bent. Well, that's a stupid design, Hoover. You shouldn't have... You shouldn't have that sticker like that. It's pathetic. It should be one that easily removes. And look at that. Look at the mess it's left.
That is a horrible sticker. See that? That is what I mean. Years ago, that would be an easy peel sticker. These days, it's shit. Right. So that should. Yeah, there we go. That clicks onto there like that. And I thought you'd need two screwdrivers to assemble this because you always did on the pure powers because really annoyingly they put two different types of screws in. I don't know why they did, but they did. So I'll just have to hold that there. Hopefully you can see what well you can because I'm looking through the screen. Oh crap. Right. I think that's about right. As I said, I'm rushing it a bit for the time on the camera. I, I usually spend longer if I'm doing things on my own. There we go, that's a bit better. That is not on or that's... Hmm. Wait there. I'll put you back up there again and I don't know what you can see there. There we go, we put that there. Um, yeah, I couldn't do that then for some reason. The handle wasn't staying on properly. Again, because of the amazing build quality. Right, well, I'll pick you back up again. I'm holding it the right way, here I am. You don't want an ugly shot of my face, do you? Oh, you don't need two screwdrivers. Well, years ago, when you bought a Pure Power, they used to have a flat head and a cross head. They're both the same thing. They used to have a flat head and a Phillips. They must have, oh no, yeah they did. The handle was a Phillips, I thought so. See, I know what I'm doing. I'm just tired, so it's, well I'm not tired. I'm just confused, so it's all coming out in the wrong order. Anyway, that seems to be on there now, good enough. Good enough anyway for a demo. Actually it's not, because the sticker's got stuck in the, in the um, sticker. I'll have to sort that at some point. I'm not going to fuss about it at the minute. Oh, have I done that already? I've got a little mark on me on my Venus red handle. I think it's coming off. Is this thir this is thirty two minutes this video already? Christ. There we go. That's all right. So we put that on. So now it's time to attach the hose. And on the Enigma version, they gave you a smaller hose and a separate long hose to try to increase the suction of something. Uh, I'm just waffling on. I anyway. Right. So. You attach the hoover hose, like that, that goes in there, and you twist it, or you twist it one way. What way do you twist it? I should have done this probably before it... Oh, wait there. 